Hey there, it's Brie and my co-host, Ronan, and these are my June monthly favorites. So if you're wondering why my background is all messed up, it's because my dog is in here and he was sleeping over there and now he's just standing in front of me whining. And if you're wondering if you can hear like background noise, it's because my husband is making popcorn for my daughters. So now that that's out of the way, let's talk about my June monthly favorites. I always feel weird introducing this first brand as a monthly favorite anytime they send me jewelry because even though this video is sponsored by them, I'm not adding them to my favorites video because they're sponsored. I'm adding it because it legitimately is my favorite. My intention whenever they send me jewelry is to talk about it in a reading vlog and like do an unboxing and everything. However, it always ends up happening that they end up on my favorites list because I genuinely love this jewelry. As you may know, I am a big fan of gold jewelry. I've been making my own jewelry for a while now and I love finding super cheap gold jewelry. But one thing about cheap gold jewelry is that you get what you pay for. <laughs> So my gold jewelry that I buy that's super cheap, you can tell, like in the quality, you could definitely tell that it's super cheap. And I'm fine with that, but Ana Luisa jewelry is of much higher quality than most of the jewelry that I get. And there is a significant difference between my Ana Luisa jewelry and the cheap jewelry that I get. Because you could just tell, especially in the earrings, like there's something about the clasps and stuff. I've broken like four or five different sets of cheap earrings in this past month, but my Ana Luisa jewelry, I'm never worried that it's going to break. Right now, Ana Luisa is having their summer sale. It is 20% off site-wide. I will link them down below in case you want to get any pieces for yourself. The first thing that they ended up sending me this month is this gorgeous bracelet. This is the exact kind of bracelet and jewelry that I've been loving. So they have two different sizes in this chain. This is the smaller version, but they do have a larger version of this chain. And it's just super delicate and pretty and simple and it's my exact vibe that I've been loving lately. I'm really picky about bracelets because I type a lot for work so I don't like anything bulky but I like to have more delicate pieces for bracelets because it's just easier for me to type. The other great thing about this bracelet is that it has different sizes like you see those three different hoops so you can wear it like kind of tighter towards you or something in the middle something a little bit looser. I like mine a little bit looser because it starts to annoy me if it's too restrictive so I tend to wear it a little bit looser. Other thing that they sent me is this beautiful ring. I am absolutely obsessed with this ring. Look how gorgeous this is. I love how it's like woven. It almost looks like rope, but it's gold. I am obsessed with this ring. Then the other thing that they sent me I'm obsessed with because I've been loving wearing multiple earrings lately. So these earrings look like there's two sets of them in it. And when, they, when they're on, I like it because you can wear it casual or you can wear it kind of dressy. And I feel like that kind of is across the board for most of their jewelry. You can either wear it where it's dressy or wear it so that it's like more casual. I am absolutely obsessed with their jewelry. The next two things that I want to talk about are not actually things, they're podcasts. So I feel like I've mentioned this a couple of times. I'm not a big podcast person, mostly because I feel like I should be listening to an audiobook whenever I'm listening to a podcast. I just feel like... I should be reading instead. So I have been avoiding listening to podcasts because I know that I will love them and get obsessed with them. So I'd been avoiding it, but recently I found two podcasts that I'm absolutely obsessed with. The first one is the Office Ladies podcast. It has Jenna Fisher, who played Pam in The Office, and it has Angela, I forget her last name, but she played Angela in The Office, and it's the two of them going episode by episode, following along and just giving you like a deep dive into the episode. I have been obsessed with listening to this podcast, and then JT and I have been going back and re-watching The Office. The Office is a TV show that I've watched about a million and a half times, but it's so great going and like watching along with them. Jenna and Angela's friendship is goals. I just, I love this podcast so much. The other podcast I've been obsessed with is Man Enough. It is Justin Baldoni's podcast. I recently did a recent reads and a wrap up and I had just read Justin Baldoni's book, Man Enough, but he has a podcast where he interviews different people. They talk about masculinity and toxic masculinity and redefining masculinity. And I love their discussions and how open they are and how they tackle that topic. They challenge each other and they have really intense conversations, but really good, meaningful, thoughtful conversations. And I have been absolutely loving it. Sean Mendez was on that. And I was like, you know what? Thank goodness there's an artist out there like Sean Mendez who is just like, hey, you don't have to be an a-hole to be attractive. You can actually be a good, sweet guy. I love that Sean Mendez is famous right now and showing that you don't have to be a jerk. And I hope as my girls get older, there are more Sean Mendezes in the world. Next are a couple of foodie 
candy type items. I have been absolutely obsessed with the Hue chocolate brand. This is a chocolate brand that has really, really good ingredients. I actually have not tried this one yet, the one that is my actual favorite. It's called the Cashew Butter Raspberry. That one's my favorite, but I ate it all and I threw away the package, so I don't have the packaging anymore. But they have several different flavors, including just regular dark chocolate. They have like a sea salt one that's really, really good. But so far, the cashew butter and raspberry one is my absolute favorite. I love this because the only ingredients in this are organic cacao, organic coconut sugar, so there's no sugar in it except for coconut sugar, organic fair trade cocoa butter, organic fair trade cacao nibs, and organic peppermint oil in this particular one, and that's it. The one that has the cashew butter and raspberries, it's just cashew butter and raspberries. It doesn't have any extra sweetener aside from coconut sugar. I love this, especially if you like dark chocolate. To me, this is just sweet enough. It's not too sweet and it's also not too bitter. So I am obsessed with this brand. Yes, it's kind of expensive. I get it from Thrive Market. I'm sure you can get it from other places. I did see it in, I think, I think Sprouts when I went and visited my parents. I think they have it at Sprouts. Otherwise, I get it from Thrive Market and this is so delicious and it doesn't have any crazy ingredients. As you can see, it doesn't have any of your regular allergens and it's vegan and paleo. So definitely a favorite chocolate brand. The other thing that's a favorite and I don't have it with me but I did take a little video of me holding it is I finally freaking found a coconut milk that I love that I can buy in store. They have it at my Publix and it's the greatest thing ever. I am telling you finding a coconut milk that doesn't have a bunch of random additives and flavors, natural flavors, xanthium gum, like other weird thickeners. It's so hard to find coconut milk that is literally just coconut and water but I have found them and it is this Thai kitchen brand. And what I love about it is it comes in this resealable box. So before I was always buying my coconut milk in cans and usually getting it from Thrive Market because it was the only place I could find one that didn't have xanthium gum in it. So I finally found this one and what's great is that I can reseal it, put it back in the fridge. I love adding this to my tea. If I want like cream in my tea, I add it in a bunch of recipes. I use this all the time. It is my favorite thing in the world. Unlike most coconut milks that come in cans, it doesn't seem to separate as easily and like you can shake it up if it does start to separate a little bit. And it's just been absolutely fantastic. Like I don't think you understand when I finally find food that is convenient that I can get locally, I am absolutely relieved because it's so hard for me to shop for food for myself. Even just like certain ingredients, it's hard to find. But when I can find it locally, it makes me so happy. <laughs> so it is my favorite thing. I love it very much. And then two other things that I've been loving this month are two things that I got to kind of round out my vanity area. So as you know, I've been collecting more and more jewelry, mostly gold jewelry. So I wanted to find a way to display my earrings so that I could get to them easily, but also so that it would look nice. I have my necklaces hanging on hooks, but I wanted to find a way to display my earrings. And I also wanted it to kind of match the vibe and everything. And I had like this blank space on my wall just above my vanity and where my bookcase is in my bedroom. And I found these two hangers and they are these honeycomb hangers. I got them from Amazon and I have been loving them. They're super cheap, but I feel like they look so good with my earrings on there and it's easy for me to grab my earrings and take them off and I've been loving them so much. I will link them down below because like I said, I got them from Amazon. The other thing that I got are these, I think it's made for nail polish, but it's these like clear acrylic holders that you put onto the wall and it's actually what my husband uses in our office. He puts his paints in there and I think it's made for nail polish, but I put my lipsticks on there because I was running out of space in my vanity for my lipsticks. So now now I can display them and it looks nice and it like almost is like wall art above my vanity but it's also useful because I can put all my lipsticks up there so I have been absolutely loving it I've been loving having more room on my vanity and I just love that corner of my bedroom it just came together really really nicely all right guys that's it those are my June favorites and don't forget to stop by analuisa.com because they do have their summer sale going on right now for the month of July it's 20% off site-wide I have the link in the description below if you're interested definitely check it out and buy yourself some beautiful new jewelry. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, happy reading. Mwah.